It's been more than 22 years since we met this guy. When Drew Bledsoe went out with an injury in 2001, he stepped in and ran the table. 22 years later, he has 10 Super Bowl appearances and 7 rings. Remember how Favre retired? Yeah, it took about 3 years. He was retiring, he wasn't, he was, he wasn't, and then he did. And then he played for the New York Jets. And then he played for, of all teams, the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, there was controversy for years over his retirement, and a bad taste was left in the mouths of Packer fans that took a while to wash out. Years. This is how Tom Brady retired. Good morning, guys. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. I know the process uh, was a pretty big deal last time, so when I woke up this morning, I figured I'd just press record and let you guys know first, so I uh, won't be long-winded. Like you only get one super emotional retirement essay, and I used mine up last year, so I uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me, my family, my friends, my teammates, my competitors, uh, I could go on forever. There's too many. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream. I wouldn't change a thing. Love you all. Um, yeah, I just hope he goes to the booth, man. I hope Brady's not gone like Favre and hides out in a deer stand in Mississippi. I hope we see him in the booth because he's got personality and he's the GOAT. And we're all going to miss him. And if you hate him and you don't think he's the GOAT, then you're a hater. And just get over it. Seven rings. Never going to happen again. We'll miss you, Tom. Peace. He's giving everybody a kiss on his way out. I wish I was making that up, but that, re that really just happened. <laughs> I don't know, he's just kissing random people on his way out.